biggest reasons, one of the biggest business reasons to become, uh, to get on video, long form and short form video is this, stand out in a sea of sameness. So let's get into first talking about long form video. We're gonna talk about YouTube and Facebook Live and then we're gonna give you a few tips for short form video. I've been on YouTube for quite some time, but it was about six or seven years ago I made the decision to go all in and I decided to post a new video each and every week. It's the Get Social Smart Show. We have since published about 300 videos and I've learned a lot about YouTube over the years. There's a few things that make a really big difference. Number one, when I'm doing my videos, I make it a point to make sure I'm mentioning other videos. So if I'm doing a quick video about, you know, three ways to get your home ready for the market or our biggest mistakes every first time a home buyer makes, I will intentionally say, oh, and by the way, we have a video about X, Y, and Z, we'll link that below. Right, YouTube loves when, they, when you stay on YouTube. <laughs> so as you build your content library, make sure you're mentioning your other videos and you're linking them below, as well as your title and description. YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, so it's not time to get cutesy <laughs> with your titles and description. Make sure it is detailed, uh, you're specific about your market area and what it is you're talking about. Thumbnails matter, just like a great book. You know, you walk through Barnes & Noble or maybe peruse Amazon, uh, that book title, that cover is going to stand out to you. It's the same thing with YouTube. So thumbnails matter. We love Canva for a lot of our thumbnails. And promote, promote, promote. I think there's this myth that you're gonna put videos on YouTube and you're gonna get a ton of traction. And you have to be your own best promoter. The other thing I think is really important with long form video is Facebook Live. Now Facebook Live is nothing new. It's been around for quite some time. The first time you go live on Facebook, if any of you experience this, it's a little terrifying, right? You, you go live, you hit that go live button, and there's always that moment of like, am I, am I? Yeah, you're live, we can all see you, right? And it doesn't matter if it's Facebook Live, Instagram Live, TikTok Live, we've all experienced that. But Facebook Live is a great opportunity to uh, really show your expertise with long form video. So how do we get a lot of people? You promote it ahead of time. You tell people about it the day before and the, and the morning before, an hour before. Share it out on social media, your stories, other platforms, email. You start right away. Isn't there nothing worse than a live video where someone's like, well, we're just gonna wait till more people show up. <laughs> no, we just start right away, right? Engage your audience. You have to tell people what you want them to do. As silly as it sounds, it's super important. Promote the replay. Facebook Live, you can download, you can put on YouTube, you can repurpose. A lot of times we'll put it on our podcast, slice and dice it, and repurpose it in a lot of ways. Okay, short form video content. Be quick, we gotta get into it right away, right? We have to uh, sort of take out the pause. A lot of times we're talking and there's that awkward pause. Have a hook, right? What's the most important thing that you want your audience to know? Start with that. Use captions, we wanna make our uh, content uh, as user-friendly as possible. Hashtags do matter. Hashtags basically tell Instagram or TikTok or YouTube who should see your content, right? So hashtags are about what your content is and who you want to see it. Repost, repurpose, and at the end I'm gonna share a few tips for how we repurpose uh, and repost. Ultimately, lean into who you are and who you're not, right? We heard from so many great speakers today who said that exact same thing. You may not be everyone's cup of tea, and it's all good. You know, when you put content like this out in the world, you'll start to run into people who say things like, I see you everywhere. I feel like I know you. I feel like you're in my head. And those kind of people, when they're ready to work with you, they're ready to work with you. They're not shopping around, calling 12 other realtors. No, they know you, or they think they know you. And now it's up to you to decide if you wanna work with them. I promised I would share some of my favorite apps and tools. Look, I love social media, but social media is rented ground. They don't live in YouTube. Don't let your content just live in TikTok. Don't let your content just live in Instagram. Download it, save it. I've got it in Dropbox organized. Google Sheets is a great way to keep yourself organized because if you're batching a lot of this content, which I highly recommend, heck, if I'm gonna do my hair and makeup and record one video, you better believe I'm gonna record four or five. So Google Sheets is a way to keep me organized. What am I gonna talk about? Video Shop app, this is a great app for editing videos. Later.com is great for scheduling and repurpose.io. This is a fairly new tool. If you're creating video on one platform, you can repurpose it uh, seamlessly on multiple platforms. So you post to TikTok and it'll automatically post to Instagram, Facebook, or wherever you choose, which is really cool. I would just encourage you to not suffer from analysis paralysis. If you take away anything from what I'm talking about here today, take this down. Done is better than perfect. Done is better than perfect. Thank you so much.